Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it is official. The holiday tea boxes will be here next week. So these holiday tea boxes make really good gifts. Basically you'll get three different types of teas. There's gonna be three different types of boxes to choose from. So one will be a holiday beauty box. The second will be a holiday wellness box. And the third one will be a holiday flavored box, okay? They'll come with three different teas. They all hold an ounce of tea in each canister. and You can make up to 12 to 14 cups of tea. So if you guys are interested in this, this will be available next week on lovelytea.net. And if you're interested in any other tea products, make sure you guys go on to amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much once again for all your support and stay tuned for the video. Yes, you guys know what that meme means. That means we're about to talk about the pissy damn Pied Piper, okay? So what's going on with the pissy Pied Piper today is this. So the other day there was a video that went viral all over Instagram and basically you see R. Kelly, he's in Ethiopia trying to serenade all these Ethiopian women to come back to America with him and he's asking them, did you get your shots? Do you have your passport? Come with me to America. I'm like, this dude has no shame whatsoever. ever. Y'all go ahead and check out this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I got it. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America, America, America. 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 Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Who wants to come? That damn video of R. Kelly serenading people in Ethiopia. So a lot of people thought that this video was recent. They're like, well, when did R. Kelly get invited to Ethiopia? The video did not happen recently. This video is from 2011. I don't know why these old ass R. Kelly videos are making rounds again around the internet, but this took place in 2011. So anyways, the crazy thing that's going on with R. Kelly is this. So if you guys don't know, Lifetime decided to film an R. Kelly documentary called Surviving R. Kelly. It was set to premiere in New York City the other day at the Nunu House. So an hour into the screening, somebody called the Nunu House and basically talked to one of the executives there and told them that there was somebody in the audience with a gun and that if they didn't... <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> This shit is not funny, but okay. They said that there was somebody in the audience at the Nunu house with a gun and that if they didn't stop showing this film, they were gonna shoot up the place. So of course, it caused a lot of pandemonium. People took to social media to let folks know what was going on. They ended up evacuating the entire building due to these threats. I want you guys to go ahead and check out what people are posting on social media. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw what folks were posting on social media. So now a spokesperson from the venue, um, they're basically reaching out to BuzzFeed News and they're saying this. An NYPD spokesperson told CNN the unknown caller said if the movie continued to play, somebody inside the theater would start shooting. A spokesperson for the venue described the threat as non-credible. Lifetime released a statement saying, as a precaution, the network chose to evacuate the building. The safety and security of our panel guests and the staff is is of paramount importance to Lifetime. Several of the women who accused R. Kelly of sexual violence 
who are featured in the documentary were also in attendance. The Me Too movement founder, Tarna Burke, was scheduled to give a talk after the screening. She told BuzzFeed News, what happened last night was awful, especially for women who have bravely shared their painful stories on camera for the purpose of putting a stop to the violence R. Kelly has committed against young girls for decades. Honey! <laughs> give a damn what nobody says i don't give a damn okay i'm not saying it was r kelly but damn it in my gut in my heart of hearts i feel like that was damn r kelly on the damn phone it was either him or one of his goons who called in to stop the damn screening okay even the police are saying that it was a non-credible threat they patted down everybody that was in attendance nobody had a gun on them so we all know what that was that was r kelly trying to put a stop to the screening but at the end of the day he's not putting a stop to it lifetime is still going to release the movie the movie's scheduled to come out January 3rd is going to be a three-part episode so this entire situation concerning the pissy pie piper is crazy as hell so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story once again concerning the pissy pie piper aka r kelly do you guys feel like he had something to do with that do you feel like he was behind the threats and them stopping that screening or do you feel like it just happened to be a coincidence anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs>